people wonder really what has changed between the start of our Tulip Festival, the early days, the 1930s, and today. And I would say, you know, one thing that has never changed and always remained the same is enthusiasm and excitement on behalf of Orange Cityans to put on this great show for our visitors. And I always say, you know, a Tulip Festival isn't complete if you haven't left everything on the table and your feet hurt like nobody's business and you have to crawl in bed for the after church on Sunday for the rest of the weekend to recover for the next week. That is what I saw in the original Tulip Festivals and I would say has continued throughout the generations. Having a Tulip Festival really brings the community a sense of identity and a sense of purpose. Uh, for people who live in Orange City, it's a lot of work to pull off the festival and there's a lot of people working in a lot of different areas to make the three-day festival as amazing an experience as possible. There are not paid positions for Tulip Festival. We all donate our time and our abilities. And there are a lot of opportunities to volunteer, opportunities to serve as tour guides, to be in the parade, to work behind the scenes and helping to set up or clean up. Part of being in a community is giving back. And giving back to the place that gives you opportunities. And so volunteerism is your way to contribute to a vibrant community and to help create a community that we all want to be part of. For those of us who have moved away from Orange City for a while, Tulip Festival is just as important to come home to as Christmas time. And as a military family, we, even though we lived on both sides of the United States, I would buy plane tickets for me and the kids so that we, they could experience Tulip Festival even though they weren't being raised here. So Tulip Festival really is a time for community and a time to bring everybody together to work for a common goal.